Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I want to look at exporting panels as a JPEG and as a Photoshop file, because in our class, we're going to be looking at doing that for different reasons. Once you've gone ahead and created your work, we have our panel selected. If you have multiple panels, you'll want to go ahead and make that selection before you begin the process. From here, we're going to go to the File tab, Export. We're going to select Bitmap. On this screen, what we want to do is select our file location where we want to save the files. Once you find that folder, go ahead and click Select Folder. In this second section is where we're going to make our changes, and we're going to be able to save as a JPEG and a Photoshop file here. By default, I think JPEG is selected, but because of what I was doing, Photoshop is selected. So we'll keep that. You have the option of changing your resolution here. We'll go ahead and keep these settings. Right here is going to be important for different things that we are doing in this class. For example, we're going to uncheck the box that says transparent background. And you may or may not want to print the camera frame. On your Photoshop file, you'll be able to remove or hide this layer. But on your JPEG, it's going to stay part of the picture. So you may or may not want that. And you have allow camera scaling and include camera path. Depending again on what you're doing, you may or may not want that selected. For this, I'm going to go ahead and select export. And it went ahead and opened up that folder for me. Let's go ahead and look at the file. All right, so here's our file. We have the different layers. We have a background layer that we can show or hide. We have our background layer. Notice something funny here. If I hide the background and just show the background, the mirror logo, and hide the camera, notice that I have this transparency around the side. If we go back to our storyboard project, we don't see that within our camera frame. But if you look at this layer here, we can see some white around the sides. So that's something to note when you're exporting. And again, that camera layer option that we had checked, we left it on so we can toggle that on and off. Let's go ahead and go back to Storyboard because now we're going to export this as a JPEG. So in Storyboard, again, I go to File, Export, we'll select Bitmap. This file location is OK. On the Bitmap format, I'm going to select JPEG. You can also select PNG, which is another file format that you might use in our class. But we'll select JPEG and we'll click export. And now when we click on this, we can see that we have that camera frame as well as everything else going on in that. Let me go ahead and show you one other thing because when it exports it out your file, it'll give your file the name of your actual project and then it'll also include the scene and the panel from that. And in my class, often what you're going to upload, you're going to need to be able to rename your file to meet the project requirements. If I just right click on this file name and select rename, I can delete scene three panel one from that and just hit enter once I'm done and that renames the file. And then from here, you can upload this to Google Classroom or wherever you need to put those files.